the main aircraft of the ninth reconnaissance wing, one of our two ISR aircraft, I should say. And we have a real special treat today on 9-11. That is actually one of the five true CU-2s, because in that aircraft is four-star general Kevin Chilton, the head of strategic command, STRATCOM, as we say, in charge of all the nuclear forces in the, in the nation. He is here today flying the U-2 in three-time space shuttle pilot. And many a local area may remember Kevin. He was the wing commander Beale 10 years ago. Amazing to see that U-2 spy plane. You think of it, you go back in time, and how good our U.S. military has been in making the best use of the best aircraft for the greatest amount of time. First saw service the U-2 did back in the 1950s. It was doing Cold War duties, wasn't it? It sure was. Yeah. We are actually celebrating the 55th anniversary of the U-2 this weekend. You'll see approximately 100 U-2 pilots going all the way back to the 50s up until today, floating around the ground. You see them grab and shake their hand and get an autograph. Now take a look to the left. We've got our 1438s led by Captain Perkins coming in for a nice pass for 500 feet. All, all these pilots are U-2 pilots I want to point out, Rob. You know, over, this was the first supersonic trainer the Air Force ever had. They still use it because they can fly these airplanes a lot more cheaply than a U-2. 75,000 pilots have been trained in the U-2. And the average airframe hours, and again, this is a testament to the maintenance, to the design, and to the way these airplanes are built. Average airframe hours of any of these of these T-38 talents is over 15,000 hours, 13 million fleet hours for all the T-38 talents, and it's just a hot jet to fly, isn't it? It really is. 46-year-old airplanes you're seeing out there, and one of those aircraft has 18,000 hours on it. The number three jet does. Wow. And from the left, here comes the U-2. History tells us that it was taking pictures behind enemy lines during the Cold War over Russia. As a matter of fact, a guy named Francis Gary Powers was shot down in a U-2. This is correct. Well, you're going to see Captain Gino Georgescu, who's flying with General Chilton. He's going to put the coals to it. We're going to show the flying. Now, you guys have extremely long 